Hello, fire signs. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tisa. It's so great to have everyone here. We're here and we're looking right here now into October the 6th and the 7th of 2023. And with much respect, I greet all of you right now that is here. My name is Tisa. I'm also known as Sense Star 555 and I'm very grateful to be here to share my intuitive messages with you. So let's see if we have one down right here for the fire signs. First card up right here is the hanging man in reverse and this is clarity right here yeah this is clarity about something right here this is enlightenment here okay what's the message right here please it either could be somebody's letting go or something could be the case yeah seven of swords yeah okay wow okay and a six of swords right here yeah <laughs> so clarity right here about traveling or clarity about cheating and lying something like that Okay. This even could be somebody here that is cheating and lying. They about to get up out of here. I'm getting like they about to get up out of here right here. This one right here is travel. Okay. So somebody here could be traveling for some people right here. Maybe they are. Okay. They might know that they're gonna travel because you know I don't know. Something about traveling right here. They know they are. I feel like they travel about water. See what I'm feeling right here? Because this one right here has water on it. And this one too. So they could be traveling right here by water for some people right here. Okay. That's what I kind of feel it. Okay, let me see what else is out here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, messages, please. King of Pentacles could be an Earth sign right here, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Even could be a husband. Okay. So I feel like somebody have clarity right here that they're traveling. So get right here. So they have clarity right here that I'm about to travel. Okay. I feel like they're going to do this in a sneaky kind of way for some people here. So I kind of feel okay. Sorry about that. All right, so okay, so I'm kind of feeling like somebody here is thinking about traveling, and they even have clarity they might be traveling. I feel like they're thinking about running away. This card says run away, so I feel like somebody's thinking about getting out of here, run away. Okay, travel could be a fire sign. I mean, not a fire sign, earth sign, towards Capricorn or Virgo, maybe, or a husband, or something like that here. Okay. I'm not sure if there's some more going on right here or traveling or with water or something like that. I'm getting right here, okay? What's the message here? Seven of Pentacles right here and the Six of Wands. What's your message right here, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay. Yeah, somebody knows some relationship is wishful thinking about traveling in some way. Okay, they know that. Okay, there's something here about traveling right here. Could definitely be something that's going on here in some way. So, what I'm basically getting here is clarity about traveling. There could be some more going on about it in some way with the seven of swords right here. This card right here is talking about running away, hitting dishonor, or lies. And I feel like this had to do with traveling. So I feel like that there's some more going on here about traveling in some way. Okay, what else is going on here, please? Yeah, I'm getting like foreign. Okay, so I feel like it's like a foreign place or something like that. I'm not sure if you're going to hear it on the news or what. Okay, but something is about it in some way. Okay, what else is going on here, please? Fire signs. Okay, right here. Yeah, four swords right here. And a two of wands. Yeah. So, I feel like somebody makes a change in direction with this one right here. There's a change in direction right there. Okay. When it comes down to trap in some way. So maybe somebody here decide, okay, I was going to go and travel here, and now I decide, you know what, I'm not traveling there, I'm going to travel somewhere else. So that's the way it could be. I feel like somebody decided to switch up with something right here concerning it. Okay. Yeah, three of wands right here. Yeah. Okay. 
Ace of Pentacles right there. This could all be a secret. Well, somebody knows what somebody's secret is about traveling. Right? So whatever is about travel or somebody at a distance, you have to listen to your gut right now. Okay, right here. Listen to your gut about something like that right now because, okay, I am open for, you know, personal readings and ask a few questions about your situation and things like that. But I feel like something here about travel or where somebody is located at or something like that is something, is something off about it, I feel right here, okay? Queen of Pentacles reverse right here, all right? And see, the Queen of Pentacles reverse is somebody here that's not stable or they're not dependable or reliable or, you know, if somebody here does want to be married or not or something like that, Queen of Pentacles will sometimes look at as a wife. So that also could be something here about a wife in some way. This is a message right here. Yeah, the King of Cups right here. Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe. The King of Cups is very, is very caring and loving. Very intuitive here. I get the sense, okay. I'm getting like something is about books right now, in some way. See these books right here? Something here about books in some way, so maybe something is about it. So I feel like somebody's looking either at their wife or if they want to be married or yeah, King of Swords right here. I feel like somebody definitely got the clarity right here how something is going to be going in the future. Okay? In the future right here. See, the Three of Wands is like in the future, preparing to receive right here in the future some way. So in the future, what am I going to be doing or what's going to happen here? If something is going anywhere at all or something like that. Somebody is getting the clarity about that. Okay. And I feel like somebody, they're definitely making a judgment. There's something here. They, they, either they have to apologize to you. Could be the case. Yeah, see the high priestess is right here. See, I feel like something here is a secret here. And I got three kings here. I'm going to like they're at a distance or something like that. Okay, king of pentacles. That's the first king. King of Swords right here and the King of Cups. Three kings in a reading. That's somebody overdoing their control with somebody. I feel like they had to do with somebody here that's at a distance. Somebody's overdoing their control with somebody. Somebody at a distance. Or something about the word travel. It's somewhere here. Right here. All right. Maybe this person is saying that they're very wealthy. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here that's traveling or at a distance. Are they saying they're wealthy? Okay. Look at that. A fourth king right here. Wow. That's what I feel. I feel like somebody's saying that they're wealthy. They could be an emperor status. Maybe they are actually wealthy or maybe they're saying they are. But I've got four kings right here. And I feel like these four kings right here is somebody here that is, um, there could be emperor status possibility here. I kind of feel these four kings is talking about somebody here that's really have, you know, multiple, like they really have like strength, I kind of feel. Um, it could be somebody definitely that has manifested, I feel, all of the aspects or ways of earning money. So I kind of feel like somebody do know how to earn a lot of money here. That's what I kind of feel as well. Yeah. 
I also just feel like your career or money here is the forefront of some relationship here in some way. Okay, because these four kings definitely could, could represent somebody here has come to a for real milestone in their career. And there could be some tension here in a relationship because of money or your career or somebody's career here. Okay, somebody also could feel like, dang, I want your attention, right? And they may feel like they're not getting your attention because of your career or something like that. Maybe somebody's famous could be the case with here with these four kings. Somebody may want to benefit from your career. What's the message? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay. Yeah, the moon card. So I feel like it's some secret right here about your career for some people right here. Okay. I feel like it's wishful thinking though right here. The seven of cups. It's wishful thinking for some people right here, right? That somebody could reap some benefits from somebody's career here, right? And for some people here, I feel like I don't know if they're in another another country. I don't know if they are. Maybe they are for some people here. Okay. So much right here, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay, yeah. Seven of Wands right here. You know. Somebody do know right here is going to be a challenge in some way. Does this cook represent challenges or something here that takes for real courage or effort to do something here in some way? Okay. Yeah, I'm here with, like, beautiful career. Okay, so I feel like somebody here has a really good career I'm getting right here. Okay, yeah. The nine of wands right here is that you believe in yourself. You're not going to give up. You're going to be very much successful. I feel like you definitely are going to be successful right here. Somebody could be powerless at something right here because, see, when there's a will, there's a way. Determination is a really strong word, okay? So somebody understands what that word means, I feel, in some way. I'm determined I'm going to be successful right here, you know? Every day I get up and I'm going to be grateful and thankful that I can do something right here, right? With this talent that I have or that I'm going to believe in myself, I'm going to try. Could be the case here. So they're going to try, I feel, right here. All right? I feel like right here, the two of pentacles right here, that, you know, maybe somebody here negotiates different ways of earning money. Could be the case. But they definitely do, I feel. Yeah, tower is a revelation right here that you're not going to give up. Okay? Ace of pentacles, you're going to find something stable here some way. Okay? When there's a will, there's a way. Okay? Somebody here wants to apologize to you. I feel for some people right here, or somebody here did want to be in a relationship right here with you. Okay? For some people here. Any other message here? Let me see here. Yeah. See, it's not going to go anywhere if somebody here is overdoing their control or cheating or lying. Something like that. That's not going to go anywhere, I feel. Yeah. I feel like cheating and lying, they're not being realistic. Okay? Because I feel like it's needless drama in some type of way. In some way. Right? Or that's conflict right here if they're cheating and lying. Something like that. Even could be somebody blocked them and not even talking to them. So, you know, <laughs> it's not going to go anywhere if you're not talking to them. It could be the case. What's the message right here, please? Yeah, because I feel like somebody here does want to heal something right here with you with the Five of Cups of Earth. They want to heal something right here with you, okay? But it's not going to go anywhere if they're cheating and lying. Or they're not being realistic if they're overdoing their control in some way. They're not being realistic right here, okay? Because I feel like right here, either somebody knows they're lusting right here with these two, right? Or some truth is here. That impulsively came out in some kind, some type of way. It came out in some way. Okay. Somebody could be very emotional with this water right here. They could be emotional. Okay. Something here could be about um, water magic. I'm getting right here. Could be. Okay. So anyway, I think that's it. All right. Any other message? One more. Okay. Yeah. The wheel of fortune right here. See, I feel like something here is going to go into your favor right here. All right. If they attacked you in any kind of way right here, right? 
they might regret it because I feel like something is going to go into your favor regardless in some type of way here that had to do with success. Okay. They overextend themselves. Something's going to go into your favor no matter what. I'm getting right here. So if they overdid their control right here, they wasn't being realistic in some type of way. And they're going to regret it because they do want to reconcile right here with you or they do want to work out something right here with you. Okay. Right here. okay. Yeah, the devil card right here. See, that's how I'm getting here. For some people here, they're jealous. They could be jealous right here with the devil card. They could be jealous of your success. Or they could be jealous because you're a man or you're a woman. Something like that. They could be jealous about something like that. For some people right here. Okay, this evil could be somebody's mother or something like that. But somebody's jealous I'm getting right here, okay? Yeah. See, I feel like life would be so good right here with you if they could reconcile with you. But I'm getting like for some people here, you really got to watch this energy. Because for some people here, I feel like they're jealous in secret. Okay? So you got to be really careful right here about who is coming over here close in somebody's energy right here. Right? Because I feel like for somebody here, they're jealous in secret of your success or... They they want to benefit from your success. Something like that they want to do right here. Right. Right. Or let's say right here, right? Um they're successful right here. Okay. And you know they're cheating and lying about something, whether they're successful or not. Could be the case. So if they're successful, they're cheating and lying, you still know that. Could be the case for some people here. Somebody knows that in some way here. Okay. But they're definitely not being realistic right here, okay? If they want to be overdoing their control in some type of way. All right. They could be tempted to do something right here. Maybe they want to make you reconcile with them with a devil card right here and a tempest card. See, because I feel like it's their wish fulfillment to be with you. But something they're doing over here with a devil card underhandedly is what I don't like here. They're, they're doing something right here that's underhanded in some way. And that's, I really don't like that, I feel, right there. Okay. With the devil and a tempest card. Yeah. See, because some of you, you made a decision, you're not looking back to them. They're obsessed with reconciling with you because they want to benefit from something for some people here. Okay. Okay, yeah. See, somebody here is passionate about you the moment you decide you was letting go. For some people right here. They became very passionate. They became very obsessive. Something like that. So that's the energy I'm picking up right here now. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, that's what I got going on here. Could be a Capricorn or Aries or anybody, but yeah, that's not here for you, okay? Thank you so much for taking a look here, and I say you all peace, blessings, love, and light. Namaste to you.